Did you know about one half of our nation's drinking water comes from groundwater? Most groundwater comes from rain and melting snow soaking into the ground. Water fills the spaces between rocks and soil creating an aquifer. About 15% of Americans have their own sources of drinking water such as wells, cisterns, and springs. Many families rely on private household wells and use groundwater as their sole source of fresh water. Illinois has many individually owned wells. Owners are responsible for keeping the groundwater safe while in operation. Owners should also make sure that the area around the well is safe. This means the well has a cover which will not allow anything to fall into it. The ground nearby should be sloped away from the well so that surface water does not collect there. The well owner must be vigilant to make sure no pollutants are on or near the well that might contaminate the water. Owners are encouraged to talk with local experts, such as the local soil and water conservation district, the University of Illinois, or the local health department to better understand what to expect with maintaining a well. All owners should have the well water tested periodically for waste, heavy metals, chemicals, and other pollutants. Make sure the water test results are explained in a manner that the well owner can understand. It is very important for a well owner to set a regular maintenance schedule for the well. It is also important to keep up-to-date records. Well owners should take action to fix any problems with their well as soon as possible. Wells should never be abandoned, as they can be dangerous in many ways. Abandoned wells have been known to trap or kill animals, and people have fallen into them. Dead animals can be a source of contamination. Abandoned wells can also become an entrance point for other types of pollutants that could contaminate the groundwater. The USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service, NRCS, provides technical and financial assistance to eligible agriculture producers for sealing unused wells. The Conservation Practice Standard 351 Well Decommissioning provides information for any well sealing, regardless of financial assistance. Sealing a well is not as simple as it might sound. Let's go through the steps on how to properly seal an abandoned well. The State of Illinois Water Well Construction Code requires that all wells be sealed by a licensed well driller. An individual may also seal a well as long as they control the land and have a plan approved by the local health department. The local health department must be contacted 48 hours before the actual well sealing may occur. Most local health departments like to have personnel present at the time of well sealing. This homestead has been removed from the site. Illinois' well sealing law requires the well to be sealed within 30 days if no longer in use. The well driller removes the cap and attaches a hoist to lock onto the pump. With the hoist, he pulls the pump out of the ground. This well is only 79 feet deep. However, wells in Illinois can range from a depth of 14 feet to 375 feet or more. The next step is to dig down around the well casing, deep enough to allow for a protective cap of soil to be installed later. Illinois state law requires at least two feet of the well casing to be removed. Going deeper than the maximum potential for frost penetration will minimize the chance of water movement along the outside of the old casing. The NRCS conservation standard also requires this added protection. Once the casting has been cut and removed, small chlorine tablets are poured into the well to disinfect it before sealing. The goal is to produce 100 parts per million of chlorine in the water. Other forms of chlorine can also be used. To assure complete disinfection, the chlorine needs to be mixed into the well water and allowed to remain for at least 12 hours before proceeding with the well sealing. Then finally, sealing material is poured into the casing. Different types of well require different materials and processes to seal them. This smaller well only requires bentonite. The material is added slowly to prevent it from bridging or getting stuck midway down the casing. Bentonite expands as it absorbs water, making an ideal material for sealing a well. The well sealer puts pressure on the top to assure that no more material can be added and that the well is sealed. This area is then backfilled with topsoil and mounted at the ground surface. This makes sure that surface water will drain away from the sealed well. For specific well sealing information in your area, check with your local health department, soil and water conservation district, or NRCS office. <music>